Hello dancers and welcome back to the Dance Academy YouTube channel. Today we are going to be looking a little closer at everyone's favourite bad boy turned dance teacher, Christian Reed. Christian is cold and closed off at the beginning of season one. He has lived a difficult childhood and comes to study at the National Academy of Dance under bail conditions after being caught committing a crime. Nobody will take responsibility for you. You could be in detention for months before you can be placed in a refuge. Unless there's somebody else you can call. Most new students would be excited to be at the National Academy. Probably not one of their bail conditions. It's a new situation for both of us. Christian's first few days at the academy don't go down very well. Oh, right. Ethan is asked to mentor him and he tries sure, to reach probably. out to be friends. Yeah, but Christian gets into a fight with him after stealing his wallet. He also makes a bad first impression on his classmates Did for his closed something? off and careless attitude. This class is a waste of time. Hey. I'd like him to look to you as a mentor of sorts. Ethan's in third year. I'm sure he'll be happy to answer any questions. So, what do you want to know? Nothing. Look, let's just forget the whole mentor thing. Let's just call it mates, yeah? I've already got mates. Ethan, can I speak to you? This makes any sense. I need to know what I did to you that was so wrong. Is it a, just a guy? Hey, what do you want? <gasps> My wallet. What are you talking about? I wouldn't do that again if I were you. What? Hey, settle down, settle down. Ow. You're my advice, Christian. You're never going to fit in. It's clear you don't want to be here, so why don't you just crawl back to whatever rat hole you came out of? And everyone's happy. With how rocky Christian's first few weeks at the Academy were, it makes people wonder why he was there in the first place. Everyone had worked so hard to get into the Academy, and they couldn't understand why he didn't seem to care. Tara gets partnered with Christian for Pas de Deux classes, and their teacher Patrick gives them a trust exercise to get to know each other a little better. They have to ask each other 24 questions over 24 hours. And this is when we first get to learn more about Christian, the unfortunate truth about his mother, and why he decided to become a dancer. Ask anything you like of each other, but you must answer truthfully. Like I want to know anything about Christian. Sagittarian, favorite food, pizza, don't have a lucky number, and we're done. No, we're not. This exercise is important. So where'd you grow up? Melba, once of a down. By the beach, lucky. Yeah, Hauser, real lucky. Hauser? Housing commission, where the poor people live. You think I'm rich? You're at the academy, aren't you? So are you. Yeah, well, it's different. Oh, I've never met anybody so rude. Doesn't your mother teach you manners? She's dead. Did she dance? Yeah, when she was young. Is that why you're at the academy? I promised my mum I'd audition. Doesn't mean I'm hanging around. You're gonna quit? I'm not into it. I don't believe you. Seat yourself. I've seen you dance. After choosing to stay at the academy and pursue dance properly, Christian's friendship and later relationship with Tara becomes a big part of his life. 
Christian first met Tara at their audition for the Academy when Tara accidentally got changed in the boys' changing room and Christian walked in and embarrassed her. After this awkward first meeting, Christian nicknames Tara Training Bra and likes teasing her about it. Ah, oh, you're the little girl in the training bra. It's training bra, why do you make things so complicated? Training bra! Didn't recognise you. <laughs> what did he just call you? Nothing. Hey, Christian! Training bra, can't be far. Yeah, don't get all twisty. After the assignment for Patrick's class, the two become friends and start getting along and having fun. After a while, though, this friendship becomes more. Tara and Christian's blooming relationship, which sometimes gets shortened to their ship name, Tristian, is a little bit complicated. The two kiss when Tara is dating Ethan, and they start dating themselves late into their first year, but they break up and get back together again multiple times throughout their second and third year at the academy. Nothing's getting in between us. Deal. I think I need a break from us. A break up. I'm sorry. Christian. Yeah. I love you too. So do you think it's... Over? We'll take it slow. We'll figure it out together. In the end, though, it is clear that the pair still have strong feelings for one another and want to try and make things work out after graduation. The reason Christian broke up with Tara in their second year is because she interfered with Christian's personal life by finding out where his dad was. Christian's relationship with his dad is... Not applicable. He left when Christian was a baby, leaving him angry and upset with his father. In season two, he takes Sammy with him to meet his dad undercover hoping to get some closure. Were you too young to tie down anyway? Was that your problem? Sorry? You were too young to be tied down to a wife and kids, is that why you left? I was 19 years old when I married your mum. I wasn't equipped to handle any of it. I had to work out who I was. What well, did you figure it out? Because she needed you and you weren't there. We all did. Look, I, I just watched you dance just now and, and you were amazing. You think you needed me, but look what you became without me. I found this in the back of the shed. Might slide a little bit, but uh, we should be all right. Look, I don't have any money. After this first meeting, although their relationship stays quite complex, the two definitely develop a stronger bond by the end of Christian's third year. After his difficult start at the academy, Christian makes good friends and is quite popular. He is good friends with Sammy, who supported him when meeting his father, and in return, Christian helps him come to terms with and supports him in his sexuality. Sort of. Pros and cons. I think I like you. Why didn't you trust me? Sammy, I robbed a servo. That is something to be ashamed of every day. This, how you feeling, isn't. Man, like I was thinking, this could be a, a good chance to get to know other guys and other years. Why? I don't know. I guess you could figure out if you're. Or not. He's fit. All right. Um, Ollie's ten is looking like a good option. Do you like him or something because you're avoiding him? No! No! I'm homophobe to man crush exploiter. I'm making some progress. Kat is another friend of Christian, like though there is a little uh, romance entangled between the two in their second year, PDA. which causes some issues because Kat is Tara's best friend. 
The two decide they are better off as friends and have a very playful and comedic friendship, which they both really appreciate. We've always been friends. You have? I've, um... I've sort of been pretending. That's not what I mean, I mean... Everything's a lot easier when you're around. Well, you can, but then the whole... So... So this is the scene where the easygoing girl tells the boy she loves that it's over. Because he's still in love with someone else. Cat, I'm not still. I don't want to be with. Ben is a new student that gets added to their second year. At first, the two don't get on very well due to Ben's very outgoing and sometimes overbearing personality and the fact that they are rivals in casting type. You started out in Taekwondo. You look a bit like him. Yep, we all look the same. Mate, that's a bit racist. Big Ben to Skinny Reed, come in. Skinny Reed. Skinny Reed, are you receiving? Go ahead, Big Ben. You are going to lose. Ben also hey. uses Tara's crush on him to try and throw Christian off his game in a performance, but then actually ends up dating Tara for real before Tara realises that she still has feelings for Christian and they try and rekindle their romance. Can you see why I called Christian and Tara's relationship complicated? The two boys get past this as they mature at the academy and develop a respectful and supportive friendship with each other. What do you want? Although he came yeah, to the school to train to have a career as a dancer and actually manages to secure a contract with the company in season three, Christian discovers his new passion, which is teaching. It's not only about tricks. It's about storytelling as well. So we're going to start like this. Five, six, seven, eight. Just oh. Oh. Hey, who taught you that stuff? No one, just from clips online. You know, just keep dancing, all right? You're good, man. I gotta go. Someone needs us. I just went all Zach, didn't I? You're good at this, teaching. Kids like you. Oh, no, 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 no. You are not walking away, all right? Not this time. No, I wanna, I wanna work here. I wanna teach. So do 10 years in the company, then be a teacher. I finally know what I wanna do. And I wanna start doing it. What a great ending to Christian's story. What dancer should we look at next? That's all for now. Remember to point your toes and we'll see you next time.